All right, good morning, everybody. We will actually get started uh, officially now, as it's 9 o'clock. Uh, so as we said in the introduction, uh, my name is Paul Kent. I'm staff at Oak Ridge National Lab, and I'm one of the organizers. And I'd like to um, welcome everybody to this uh, QMC workshop. It's uh, great to see everybody here, and also the very timely start we, we had this morning, everyone arriving early. Uh, and we're looking forward to uh, going through a week-long uh, workshop on Quantum Monte Carlo. Uh, just before uh, I go much further, I'd like to give a few uh, acknowledgments. Uh, first, this workshop is funded by the uh, US Department of Energy through the Predictive Theory and Modeling Program of Basic Energy Sciences. I would like to uh, thank our hosts, the National Center for Supercomputing Applications, that's the, the building we're in now. And also, uh, we're going to be using the computers actually at Argonne National Laboratory at the um, Argonne Leadership Computing Facility because we had such a great experiences using them the last time we ran this uh, workshop. So I plan to talk for maybe 10, 15 minutes just to give an outline of the schedule and some of the logistics. And then I'll see if anyone has any, qu any remaining questions, maybe for me or perhaps Amy uh, at the back, who you've all been uh, emailing with. And then I'll hand over to Professor David Seppoli, who's going to begin our um, lectures on Quantum Monte Carlo and statistical methods. Uh, so first, just to make sure we're all in the right place, uh, I thought I'd outline uh, sort of the goals of this workshop. Uh, so first, we want to introduce the, sort of the fundamentals, the background of Quantum Monte Carlo theory. Uh, introduce how these can be applied into physics, chemistry, material science, and actually other, other problems. And then also uh, to introduce the QMC pack code and the developers. Uh, and our goal here is, is quite ambitious, uh, but the, the goal is that by the end of the week, you should have the knowledge, or at least the pointers to the knowledge, to run a research level um, quantum Monte Carlo calculation. So if you have something in mind, uh, you, should, you should keep that in mind through the week and actually ask questions so you learn the methods and techniques that you need to solve that problem. Uh, we are uh, very happy to provide any ongoing support or assistance to use, for you to use Quantum Monte Carlo in your research. And of course, it's, it's, it's entirely optional whether you say what you, you would like to apply the, uh, the methods on. Uh, but I, you know, I recommend discussing this with uh, any of any of the organizers, any of the lecturers, any of the, any of the lab instructors, and really uh, just to make full use of uh, all all the instructors whilst whilst we're here. So if you do have a particular problem in mind, we're we're happy to discuss what the issues might be, if there are any issues, or whether we think you just just go 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 uh, on that problem uh, direct directly. Uh, you can also talk about other issues, of course. We can talk about science or electronic structure theory or even, or even careers. Uh, so just do take advantage of our time here. We've got um, five days to cover all these topics. So who are the lecturers and lab instructors? We have, uh, actually it takes a lot of people to put these workshops together. Uh, and so we've got participants from actually across the US, uh, Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, Sandia National Lab, uh, Argonne and also uh, Oak Ridge National Lab and also we've had a lot of help from David's group including some students and, and postdocs as well and I'd like to thank them very much for putting their time uh, organizing the lab sessions uh, in particular. Uh, we do actually have two uh, invited speakers. Uh, we're very lucky to have uh, Yong Nim Kim uh, who'll be giving a talk on uh, Wednesday. She's the, uh, really the main author of QMC Pack, and she now works for Intel. And she's going to be telling us something about the future of computing, because, of course, you being able to use the um, large supercomputers is very important in our research, and computers are having to evolve in order to become more energy efficient. And so we're obviously keen to remain on the, on the leading edge. Uh, and then um, Ed Seidel is going to give, who is the NTSA director, is going to give our after dinner uh, talk uh, on Thursday. And I believe he's going to focus more on scientific data, which is a very important development happening in computational science that we should all uh, focus on. And then I'd like to 
take a moment actually to thank in particular uh, our local organizers, Professor David Seppley, and also Amy Young, who's at the, who's at the back there that we've all been emailing with uh, for the terrific job in uh, doing all the logistics uh, for this uh, workshop. So uh, a few practical matters. Hopefully everyone has worked this out now, as, as, is, as was announced earlier. Uh, but there is a Wi-Fi. Uh, there's an Illinois Net Start uh, ID for the network, and one makes a guest registration. Uh, the, a fresh login is required every 24 hours. So I would recommend making sure that you can get on before the start of the labs so that you don't have the network connection go down during the labs. Uh, and if there's any questions, uh, the gentleman at the back will, will help. Uh, I've had no trouble getting on with several different devices, and we know at least one Linux laptop has been OK. Uh, so it seems to be working. But let us know if there's any issues. Uh, just a word that perhaps we should have sent out by email. Um, uh, most of you have now received um, tokens, electronic tokens, rolling code tokens, to access the Argon machines. Uh, and a very important thing is, of course, when you press the button, it generates a code. Now, this can be quite fun to do. Uh, but if you press it too many times, it will lose sync with the server at Argon and will have to be reset. So don't press the button unless you're actually at a computer trying to log in to the Argon machines. Uh, and the use of this token is going to be explained this afternoon. Uh, for those of you who don't yet have a token, you should catch uh, Anwar Benali, this gentleman at the front here, uh, during one of the breaks. And he has uh, tokens for people. And then we'll use them this afternoon. OK. So everyone should have received a printed copy of the schedule. There's more at the back if you didn't, uh, if you didn't pick one up. Uh, it's also available online. Uh, the URL is quite long. So the way I always, the way I get there is I go to the QMC pack site, and there's a link to the workshop at the, bo at the bottom right, and I, I think that's faster. Uh, but basically, each day, we have uh, the light breakfast available here from 8 o'clock. Uh, but as, as this morning, uh, we're actually going to start at 9 uh, and run until, uh, run until midday, essentially with lectures. We'll have a mid-morning break. 10.30, 10.45 or so at a convenient point in the lecture. Uh, then we'll have lunch. And of course, it's up to you uh, where, we have, where you have lunch. But particularly on the first day, we'd recommend going to the Beckman cafeteria, which is barely a, barely a, block, barely a block away. That way. That way. <laughs> uh, so we'll head over there as a group. And that's, of course, it's a good time to ask questions of, of the instructors. Uh, and then in the afternoons, uh, we're going to have hands-on sessions and, again, a mid-afternoon break. Uh, and, in, and in the evening, uh, again, it's, uh, it's dinner on our own or in formal group. Uh, that is, unless there's one of the daily variations uh, going on, there's, there's different activities each day. So uh, for those of you who are here early, Amy already gave a little uh, explanation of this. But... Uh, uh, today, we're going to have a picnic at Crystal Lake Park, which is to the northeast of us. Uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a full address and a link to the map on the online schedule. Uh, so it's a bit over a mile walk uh, from here. And we'll announce how we're shepherding people uh, later on this afternoon. Uh, there are also buses to get there, and we do have a few cars. So if anyone is concerned about walking there or just like to use a car, let either myself or Amy know, and we'll, we'll work out the logistics uh, from that point. But it's a very nice day. It looks like the weather's going to smile on us this week. Uh, and since we'll have been trapped inside all day, uh, that, sh that should be quite pleasant. Uh, on Tuesday afternoon, we're going to have a poster session. The poster session will be held uh, outside, outside of this room. Uh, and we do have a couple of prizes for the best, uh, best posters, best poster presentations. That will be awarded on Thursday. Uh, on Wednesday, we'll have Yong Nim Kim's talk. And then on Thursday, we have an optional uh, self-guided talk of Blue Waters, which is the, the sustained petascale uh, supercomputer run by um, NCSA and University of Illinois. Uh, and then at 6 o'clock, uh, we'll have our conference dinner with um, Ed Seidel as the speaker. Now, 
just a word of note, this is on the far south side of campus uh, by the, um, at the I Hotel and Conference Center. And so this is actually a decent walk. It's a couple of miles. Uh, so do have, a, do have a check of the map. Uh, there are some buses to get there. And as I mentioned, we do have a few cars. So again, if you prefer not to walk or, uh, or take a bus and would actually like a car, uh, let either myself or Amy know, and we'll uh, work out how to, how to do that. Uh, we do have shuttles uh, to return, so it's only a, a one-way trip uh, on foot. And this is across, across campus, so it should be fairly pleasant. And of course, the online schedule has links to the maps and the address details. So I'm, I'm nearly done. Uh, what is the arrangement of the week? Well, we're going to start uh, in, with uh, introductions to statistical methods and variational Monte Carlo. And this afternoon, we're going to have our first lab, which is where we're going to, where we're going to learn about logging in to the Argon machines. And we're going to begin doing the statistical analysis, which is, of course, essential to this Monte Carlo method. Uh, then we're going to get up to speed learning about diffusion Monte Carlo and wave function optimization. And actually, on Tuesday, start running. Uh, simple QMC calculations. Uh, Wednesday is going to be a day focused on molecular calculations using both single determinant and multiple determinant wave functions. Uh, we are interfaced with the games code, and so we'll be running that. And then on Thursday, we're going to learn not only actually about solid state uh, calculations, but also liquids. Uh, and we'll be running some of those on Thursday afternoon. Uh, and Friday, we actually have a switch in modes. We're going to have some research presentations and introduce some more advanced developmental uh, topics. So you can see how the methods are actually being used for research currently and also learn about some of the features that we have uh, under development. Uh, and then in the afternoon lab, it, it's fairly open. So the idea is to have continued discussion or perhaps finish off a, a lab that you didn't get completed during the week or even set up one of your own problems. That would be a great, I great, great idea to work on then. So uh, that's all I have. Uh, I'd be interested in any questions. And I know we're actually very interested in feedback on the organization and content of this workshop. Uh, you're welcome to provide feedback at any time. But we will be handing out a survey uh, first thing uh, Friday morning. Uh, and we'd love to hear, love to hear what you um, thought of the uh, the organization and the content. So that said, are there any questions? OK, no questions?